five, a success story 20 years in the making comes full circle at the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra. This week's guest conductor got his start with CSO while he was just a teenager. And WLWT News 5's Christy Davis shows us why his return sounds so sweet. He's hitting a high note right here in the Queen City, this rising star in the world of music who calls Cincinnati home. But to Pat, he almost didn't take. There's no set path to becoming a conductor, and you know, everyone has a different path in a different way. One of the most watched young conductors, Kazim Abdullah, has worked in Paris, Brazil, New York City, but his two nights with CSO have meaning beyond the music. This was my musical home, um, and that was really where I had, uh, I would say, my most crucial musical development. It almost didn't happen. As a high school freshman, the Dayton native didn't make the city's youth orchestra. Then, while away at a prestigious arts camp, Kazim got the call that his brother was shot and killed during a mugging. So he chose to cope by pursuing his dream. I asked my mom if I could audition for the Cincinnati Symphony and that if I got in, like, you know, she would have to drive me. Not only did he make the youth orchestra, he became the principal clarinetist. 20 years later, he's the musical director for the city of Aachen, Germany. Kazim says without his time in Cincinnati, it may not have happened. You know, I got such wonderful support from the members of the orchestra, and it's great to, I mean, you know, to see some of the people again. Like cellist Norman Johns, namesake of the scholarship which helped bring Kazim to the CYO. And I'm, I'm just delighted that he's uh, stayed on the path, and uh, I hope that the other kids who are now uh, benefiting from the scholarship will, will find inspiration. Kazim also wants more young people to see the arts as an option, and hopes he can be a testament to the transformative power of music. And can have such a positive influence on young people, and that's why, like you know, that's why kind of why I shared the story because it, it, you know it had a positive effect on my life. At Music Hall, Christy Davis, WLWT News Five. Kazim Abdullah will lead two CSO performances: the first tomorrow night, and the second one on Saturday.